Hello, welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending October the 24th, 2021. I have had a crazy busy week. Black Death Survival is now live. So if you're a fan of dark, gritty, post-apocalyptic tales about ordinary people in extraordinary times, get your copy now. It's available on Kindle and paperback and there is an audiobook in production. If you've been following my writing career for a while, you know what a roller coaster this story has been for me. I was very close to abandoning this book, but I really hate leaving projects unfinished. What this means is I'm now at a point, probably for the first time, where I've only got one live project. And this is the Dawn of Assassin series. So that's going to be something new for me. We'll see if I can cope or whether I thrive on having these spinning plates. Hopefully I'll be able to just focus on one thing and it'll be magical and there'll be uh, pixies and unicorns and rainbows everywhere and it'll be great. So as well as doing everything to do with the book launch, I also finished my redraft of Dawn of Assassins. Told you I've had a busy week, didn't I? I ended up having adding about 3,000 words to the manuscript, most of that being things like description and world building. And I did tweak the ending slightly. So the body count isn't quite as high, mainly because there's a character who I really liked who had killed in the first one. And I thought, actually, no, I don't want to kill her. So we'll keep her for the next book. Um, it wasn't actually as difficult as I thought the process would be. The story was already solid. The world was there. I just needed to make it feel a bit more lived in, a bit more alive. So I'm happy that I've done that. And I've now sent that to my editor. So that is out of my hands. And I want to keep it that way. Which reminds me, I now have the covers back for the first three Dawn of Assassins books. And I have to say, they look amazing. They look awesome. They are the best covers I have ever had. I'll say they're up there as some of the best covers I've ever seen. And yes, they were expensive. Yes, they cost twice as much as I've ever paid for a cover. But they look tremendous. And I'm hoping that they will pay themselves back quite quickly. And after some feedback about the second book, that book is no longer called Murder of Crows. Um, I'm actually going to be calling it Trial of Thieves. Uh, this is better for the story. A Murder of Crows was always a working title. And I had my suspicions that it was a bit kind of cliche, a bit generic. And so I shared the covers with a few author friends and I got a list of other books with the same title. So I. Um, now looking at releasing Dawn of Assassins, the first book at least, early next year, followed by Trial of Thieves and Crucible of Shadows. And did I mention they look awesome? Because they do. They're just fantastic. Amazing, amazing covers. Um, so I am writing it as a trilogy, but there's definitely potential for a longer series. So I'm just going to see how the, tri how the trilogy goes and take it from there. Obviously, I don't want to spend years working on a 10 book series if there isn't a craving for it from the readers. Uh, so as well as all the writing stuff, I'm actually doing a few other kind of things this week. I had my friend Russ come to stay at the weekend. Uh, we spent most of Saturday drinking and he came up basically so I could help him come up with ideas for his next Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Now, I've not played D&D. &D seriously ever um, I played it a few times as a kid but I do love world building and designing characters and coming up with ideas for that so it was a lot of fun and you know just being in a bar with a mate brainstorming ideas having a laugh amazing missed it that, that's what coming out of this pandemic is all about so definitely enjoyed that um, I also went to the first in-person meeting of the Morecambe and Lancaster Speakers Group. So I joined the club during the early days of the pandemic. And so it's always been on Zoom. So this is the first time we met in person. Had a really good time. It was great to meet people I've come to know as flat faces on a screen. So yeah, that was really good. And just really energising, being in a room with people and having a laugh and just, you know, feeling like things are getting back to normal. It's good. It's good. It's energizing. 
Um, so in terms of reading, I read The Burning Land by Bernard Cornwell. This book is the fifth in his Saxon Chronicles series. I really enjoy these books. I think this is an excellent series. Great characters, great action. And the story is just really good. And of course, it's it's historical. So there's a lot of historical stuff in there that I'm aware of, things that I know. And he plays around with that in a really interesting way. So if you like fantasy, if you like historical fiction and you've not read it, do check it out because it's very, very good. Um, I also read a writing craft book called The Creative Compass by Dan, Mi Dan Millman, I think it was. Um, this discussed the different layers of the writing process. So talking about things like drafting, redrafting, um, having kind of dream time and things like that. This is basically my process. Uh, I think the one thing that I've changed is I do now do this method called cycling, which I picked up from Dean Wesley Smith, which is this idea that you write and then rewrite and then rewrite. So you get your chapter up to a really good standard before you move on. Now, I keep going backwards and forwards on this because I like the momentum of just plowing through a draft. But I think there's something really satisfying in getting to the end of a book and thinking, wow, it's it's already nearly there. It, it needs like a draft or two, you know, it's brilliant. So I really like that feeling of getting to the end. You know, you get to the end of the first draft and it's still like you've got a lot of work to do. It's like the first draft is just the beginning. Whereas if you've done that cycling method, it, it feels like you, you're nearly there. Um, so next week is the October half term break. This means my wife and son will be at home. So that means I am going to have a much needed break. I'm tired. I've been working really hard past the month, year. I don't know. Feels like I've been nonstop over the past couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, do remember to grab your copy of Black Death Survival. If that is something you're interested in. And if you go onto my YouTube, um, you can ro actually watch me reading the first chapter. So if you're interested in having a taste of that, check that out. So youtube.com slash C slash John Cronshaw author. There you go. I remembered it. So please let me know what you think in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe. There's a notification bell that I see all the YouTubers telling you should hit. So please do that as well. So until next time, cheerio.